morning guys um as you guys can see the setting is a little bit different today that's because i am at home today is the 25th of october um the day my best friend passed away and um every year i always get like this it would just come to this time of the year and then I try to hold it together but I really can't but I have to today because there's a lot I need to get done two years two years ago it's hard man it's hard but um, it's crazy because every year God makes it happen that I come back to London for some reason so last year I had to come back to London for some reason anyway and then it coincided with her first year anniversary this year I'm going to this dinner thing which I'm going to show you guys a little bit later on um, it's like this posh dinner thing my boss at work um, just in case you don't know I did an internship this summer that just passed um, for a design company and I was doing marketing for them which was amazing and um, I found a, a family at that office and um, my boss was kind enough to get me a ticket for this fancy dinner um, with lots of um, powerless people powerless um, i think i've spoken about them before in a vlog basically an organization that help young black people like black graduates and kind of high attainers and high achievers um bringing them together to network empowering them through like events and workshops and all that kind of stuff and i did a three-day leadership program in the summer and um, basically that's where i met my boss asked him for a job gave it to me i think i might make a, a video about jobs and that sort of thing because finding jobs are hard and yeah people always like to say oh you go to cambridge you're set that's another video for another day but anyway um so all of their partners and basically like the rich black people <laughs> that run all their companies and businesses and stuff that are in support of the powerless, they're having this fancy dinner of which I have the honour of going to so um, that's going to be this evening and yeah it coincided with Adele's anniversary so I'm going to shower and get ready and leave and go guys man when I say to you like love and appreciate people I say this all the time on my snapchat because life really is too short make sure you love and when i say love deeply love the people around you your family your friends people that you don't even know just show nothing but love and be a positive energy in this world because you don't you don't know when you're gonna go and you have no clue when anyone else around you could go it's scary and god forbid but you don't know your mom could leave for work in the morning and never come back you could get a phone call one day that your dad's passed away you get a phone call one day to say that your sister's in hospital, she's got cancer, she's got three weeks to live. It is that deep. So whatever you're holding on to, whatever anger and pain and hurt you're holding on to because this person did this to you and this and this and this and that, is it worth it? Is it worth you being so angry and bitter and sad and just holding so much rage? Is it worth it? If you think so, then fine, go about your life. But if you know that if today you were going to get that phone call that told you that person is no longer here, you're never going to see them ever again, would that change anything? Just think about it, guys. Please. There's no time to waste. There's no time to waste. There's two things I'd advise you. Number one, love. Be a positive light, be a positive energy. And secondly, get right with Christ. 
because you really don't know when you're gonna go if you were to die right now if you were to die in your sleep if you were to, to someone was to come into your house and shoot up your whole entire house and kill you do you know where you will go do you have that guarantee do you have that 100 percent faith that's just the question i'm asking you anyway but sorry guys i, I get up in my feelings every time this year because it's a reminder a reminder of how fragile how fragile life is just appreciate life guys okay so hi guys i think i look a bit dusty right now my makeup i don't know if you guys can even see my makeup right now i'm currently in an uber and um i'm on my way to a meeting of which starts in like five minutes so i'm running a bit late but i um as I mentioned this morning, I had a few things that I had to do. Um, I did get my nails done, did my eyebrows. Um, I went to go and drop off some flowers for Adele. Um, yeah, so um, I'm holding it together. Um, today's been a tough day, but um, you know, did my makeup, holding it together. On my way to this meeting, after the meeting is the dinner. Now I'm not too sure if I can film the dinner. So apologies if I don't, I'm gonna try and get my camera in there and hopefully film um, some stuff happening. Um, but if not, then I'm sorry guys, I'm just gonna have to see you on the other side. But um, yeah, I'm doing a lot better than I was this morning. Um, you know, I think it was just, I just needed a bit of reminding that, you know, God's in control and he knows exactly why everything happens and we must always have faith and that gives me joy and that makes me happy and it makes me realize that he's in control basically it's not us it's not about us it's about him and so i give all praise um to god so it's all good in the hood guys i'm good um and um i've got some very very amazing people in my life that are literally my backbone so y'all know who you are so thank you thank you so much but yeah hopefully oh my makeup looks kind of cute yeah hopefully i can get you guys into dinner i'm gonna try my best okay so hi guys um i managed to get my camera in i don't know if i can film where i am but let me just tell you this place is posh as hell so um it's just arrived my boss and my other colleagues are running late. So I came around myself, you know me. I was just like, you know, whatever. And it's mad. This place is crazy. I just saw a politician. Um I'm never gonna say his name. I just I just saw Chuku. And um everyone's like in ball gowns and stuff. I didn't know it was that deep. And I'm just in like some plain black dress. I look like a peasant compared to everybody else right now but you know i'm still slaying my hair's on fleek makeup on fleek let me show you that guys this is the bathroom let me show you guys settees in the bathroom it's just mad and why are there makeup stations in the bathroom what the hell guys <laughs> if anyone has me on snapchat you'll be seeing how crazy i'm going but just this is too insane and the lighting is so on point look how nice i look but um i'm about to go and get some drinks i think today might be the day that i start drinking again because it's all a bit mad but, um yeah goodbye hopefully i can from inside wow i look dusty low jesus um but hey guys as you can see i'm back at uni right now um so i didn't film 
yesterday's um, dinner and then our after party at the Shard, guys. We were at the Shard. Guys, I'm still buzzing. Um, I left London this morning. My coach was at 9.20 and I got back here at like 10 something and all I've been doing is basically work related stuff. So um, I'm still technically working because I'm still handling the social media for work. Um, I basically don't stop working so um and i could do that from home so that's what i've been doing and i've just been um just doing social media stuff and emails and um follow up emails from the business cards that i collected yesterday and i've got more emails on my phone and stuff anywho point of the story is is that i didn't want to film yesterday just because obviously this is the first time i've gone to this um type of event this mill um this yeah just the first time i've been around these people so you know sometimes you just have to be tactical and you just have to use your brain and for me i was like hmm i don't really want to whip out my camera because i don't really know who i'm going to be sitting next to i'm not really familiar with these groups this group of people and I don't want to be disrespectful just in case they don't want people to film. So I thought, you know what, it's my first year. Let me just, just leave it. And sometimes you just have to do that, you know. So I just thought about it and I was like, I'm not going to film. And even when we went to the Shard, I was like, nah, I'm not going to film. I am going to leave it. Um, I plan to go back next year. So hopefully, by God's grace, if next year happens, I will vlog it then. Just because I'll be more familiar with the people. I'll be familiar with what is kind of happening and that sort of thing but let me just tell you now guys it was amazing if you have me on snapchat um there's some good information on there that i gave you guys about networking and about meeting people and about how i even got these opportunities and stuff in the first place which by the way was through networking um i'm still buzzing like i'm genuinely buzzing the people that i that i got to meet yesterday the hands that i shook just just deep yeah i was standing next to my boss and he was literally like nissy you do know in this room just look around this is when we were at the shard now by the way with an open bar okay just just deep already how much money you must cool and he was just like nissy just look around um this is probably minimum 30 million in the room minimum so i was talking about people who run their own businesses net worth their own worth you know they were the likes of um chuku amunu i think i said his name amuna i always get his name wrong but chuku was there ade uh i forgot i always forget people's surnames ade he is the um paralympian he is black guy dreads in a wheelchair um him uh christina guru or Gu surnames i'm rubbish with but you know who i'm talking about but just it was it was insane like guys all i can say is that god is good and it's only by his grace that i have been given such opportunities and these doors are being opened for me like it's only him there's there's genuinely nothing i can i can really say to you um and by the way i know i look hella dusty right now but um it's been a long, a long night and a long morning. I'm about to take a nap in a second after I finish doing some stuff for work. But and then I've got to do uni work. And yeah, I'm tired, guys. I'm tired. Hence, I'm always tired. But um, it's only God. Yesterday was a huge blessing. I really wish I could have showed you more. You obviously saw, like, the bathroom area. If, if that is the bathroom, just imagine what everything else looked like. Um, I will be adding, like, some Snapchats and stuff into this video. so grateful and a massive shout out to powerlist the powerlist foundation powerlist magazine um powerful media 
future leaders, all that comes under basically the bracket of the Powerless Magazine and Powerless Foundation. What they're doing is amazing, you know, um, just in case you don't really know who they are. They're basically an organisation that work to promote black role models and to change the narrative and change the image of black people. Um, and that's exactly what they've been doing with this magazine. Ugh. Yesterday we were celebrating 10 years, 10 years of that magazine and just to see how many people support it are behind it, the partners, the sponsors, it's amazing. You know, we need so much more of it and, you know, it's up to us as the next generation young people to continue to do these things and to do so much more. There are younger people than us who are looking up to us and who are, you know, hoping that there will be changes in this world, you know. There's still so much more to um, to do. We've got a long way to go, but we're on the right track. But I'm, I'm so incredibly inspired, guys. So inspired. Like, I met bank people in banking, consultancy, media, people that run their own business. Like, I met... God, it's good. <laughs> I'll see you guys again soon.